Having a level towing setup is important. If your ball mount is set too low, this can take the weight off the front of your vehicle, resulting in poor braking and steering condition. If it's set too high, it will displace the weight behind your trailer axles, resulting in trailer sway. That's why it's so important to have a safe and level towing setup. In this video, we'll show you how to determine the proper rise or drop needed for your ball mount in your towing setup. To do this, we need a receiver height measurement. Take the measurement from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube. Our measurement here is 21.75 inches. The next measurement we need is the coupler height. To do this, we're going to use the hand level and the trailer jack to level out the trailer. And then take the measurement from the ground to the bottom of the coupler. Our measurement here is 15 and a half inches. Now that we have both of our measurements, we need to subtract our receiver height from our coupler height. If that number is negative, that'll show you how much drop you need. If that number is positive, that will show you how much rise. We take our coupler height of 15 and a half inches and subtract our receiver height of 21 and three quarters inches, leaving us with a negative 6.25. Round that to the nearest number and that gives us a negative six inches. This lets us know that we need a ball mount with a six inch drop. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to determine the proper drop or rise needed for a ball mount in your towing setup. If you'd like more information on towing, please visit us at KurtMFG.com. Kurt, the first name in towing products.